Hello there, people of YouTube land. Once again, it is I, the Zombie Messiah. Now, as you can see, I am... I am in person, and I am not in the room I usually do gaming in. Well, this is because I've got a special video in mind for... for excuse me. For the first anime video on this channel. I am going to be showing all of you at home my complete collection or my collection of anime DVDs. Now note, I am the own, I'm only going to be showing you anime that I have on DVD. This is not going to be all of the anime I like. I do like more anime than what I have here. The only difference is I usually watch my anime on things such as Crunchyroll and Kiss Anime. And no, this video is not being sponsored by either of them. Um, so, if I was to show you my Crunchyroll old playlist, I, well, I have to use this, but I figured I might as well show the DVDs that I got. And with all that being said, let's get right to the anime! Oh wait, wrong person. Anyway, we're going to start off with Afro Samurai, the Resurrection. This is a. This is actually one of the fame. One of the, one of the more famous animes to be, or to be in the West. And to be honest, this is actually one that I would recommend people watching in dub. The reason being because the main character is voiced. By Samuel L. Jackson. So, yeah, if you like the works of Samuel L. Jackson, then be sure to give if Afro Samurai Resurrection a go. Anyway, next, this is an anime showcase DVD that has been released by Manga. Now, what this now, what this sort of DVD is supposed to be is it's meant to be like a preview disc for anime. Basically, they'll have like one episode on there, and it's just to, and it's just to introduce you to the series. And if you like what you see, then it then you'll not know to go to go out and get more of the series. The anime that are featured on this particular one are Hellboy, Sword of, so Sword of Storms, Noen, Heat Kai J, and Otogi Zoshi. So, yeah, if you're planning on get, if you're planning on getting into anime, but you don't exactly have the best internet connection, I would honestly recommend going out and trying to track down one of these DVDs. They are really helpful on that front. Anyway, next we're going to come to the first movie in this lineup. Up Appleseed X Machina. Now this one also features a little extra manga from Dark Horse. From Dark Horse Comics. Also with an advert for Batman Gotham Knight which I actually have, I'm just not featuring it in this one, but anyway, but yeah, the movie itself, it's a, it's a continuation from the series Appleseed, and well, to be honest, I haven't actually seen Appleseed, nor, and I've been saving this for until I have, so... I am not exactly at liberty to say what Appleseed is about, but hey, it has a giant, hey, there's a robot in it, so if you like robots, pick it up. Next, we're going to move on to bees, and this is the second anime movie that I have in my collection. I don't know if you can see it because the light, the this room it, um, does have quite some bad lighting, but it says Bayonetta Bloody Fate. This is actually a, a complete retelling of the first Bayonetta game. 
in basically just as changing a few things such as su such as when Bayonetta meets Cereza and well all that and stuff all that sort of stuff but it may but this is definitely one to watch if you are a fan of the Umbral Witch herself so yeah I'd recommend picking this up next we have this don't know if you you probably won't be able to see it because of the CEX stickers that are on the front cover but this is actually one of the mo this is actually the second movie from the original Berserk series now Berserk is something that has made something of a comeback in re comeback re in recent months with the new with the new revamp of the anime to be honest I haven't actually watched it it I'm probably going to be waiting until all the episode until all the episodes are out before watching it but hey if you already like berserk or if you well if you already like berserk then I would recommend pick this one up now we're going to be moving on to something that's a little more controversial in the anime scene live action adaptations this is the blu-ray for the live action adaptation of black butler yeah. and to be honest i actually i actually like this one i've seen i've seen this one before and basically it's a modernization of black butler just with a different member of the phantom hive family although it's now under a different name but it has but it has sebastian in it it's meaning that sebastian in the time in the timeline that this film takes place in has continued to serve the phantom hives throughout all of this year up to modern day and they have since left england and have gone over to japan and this, and to be honest it, the fight scenes in this look really good they man they easily managed to carry over the character of Sebastian very well from the anime so if you're a fa so if you're a fan of Black Butler you're you're go you're really going to do yourself an injustice if you don't pick this up in my opinion anyway next we have a Black Lagoon OVA the well, Roberta's Blood Trail I to be well to be honest I haven't seen Black Lagoon I just picked this up because it was only 10 pounds and I figured why not I'll probably watch it at some point but yeah if you like Black Lagoon and you want some more of it check, see if you can track this one down and pick it up now we're going to be moving on to one of the big boys I am of course talking about Bleach one of the big three when it comes to Shonen Jump anime and to be honest Bleach is actually the one that I prefer from the big three mostly because it takes a it takes an interesting concept of a mortal human work basically being a samurai version of the grim reaper and there's this whole community of samurai ish of samurai grim reapers there's, but that's just putting it in terms for people who don't watch anime obviously people who do watch anime will know that i am referring to the soul reapers but yeah, if you want a good if you want a good starter anime, I would easily recommend watching Bleach. And yeah, just so you know, pick up pick up the first series first. You'll you won't be so lost otherwise. Is and you probably and you and and you'll also get more explanation into the Soul Reapers as the series goes along. So, um, continuing on with Bleach, we have. Bleach Memories of Nobody this is actually a rather interesting movie I don't know exactly when in the timeline of Bleach this is supposed to be set since 
be honest, I've only really finished... I've, I've only really started Season 4. Yes, I am late. But... This was actually an interesting case, because... It was a threat... It was a threat to existence that had never been covered in the, in the anime up to the point that I was watching. And... It introduces a new character only for that character, well, or a character that isn't in the anime. But, hey, if you like Bleach, then seriously, pick this one up. This is a really good movie. Next, probably one of the more, fam probably one of the more, more famous ones, Blood. This particularly is Blood, The Last Vampire. If you like your vampires, then you'll, pro then you'll probably find blood r rather interesting. If, if the fact that there's vampires in it doesn't instantly sell you, then this probably will. Schoolgirl hunting vampires. That's all, I, that's all I really need to say. There was a sequel for this one made recently called Blood Sea, The Last Vampire. But... Uh, but I haven't watched it yet, and I haven't watched this one either, but I'm probably going to at some point. So, yeah, if you like vampires, pick this one up. Going on to seas now, and this is one that I brought back from overseas. This is Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Yes, it says Herlock on there, but it is actually supposed to be Harlock. Now the problem that I've currently got with watching with watching this one is well I bought this in France. It turns out that anime well anime DVDs only really do two sets of subtitles. One for one well they only really do one set of subtitles and that is for the language of the country that the DVD is in. As such, the subtitles for this one are only in French. So, unfortunately, my French isn't all that good, so I can't watch this one. But, I still have it, just in case I manage to find this one with English subtitles. Next, we have Kashan and Robot Hunt, or Kashan 7, or oh, Kashan, Robot Hunter. The concept for this one is actually interesting because, well, uh, I'll read some of the blurb out to you. Enslaved by an army of rebellious robots originally designed to help civilization avert a complete ecological cataclysm, mankind's only hope is Kashan, a legendary hero who wages a solitary war to defeat the his neoroids. And restore Earth to its rightful order. If that doesn't make, if that doesn't pique your interest in this one, I don't know what will. All I know is there's robot, there's robots in it. So, hey, hey, you know, again, you like robots? Pick this one up. Now, this one, this next anime is going to be something quite. Well, it's considered uh, an anime. Of legendary, of legendary proportions, and I am of course talking about Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of, uh, well, a lot doesn't really put things into perspective, but I've been hearing loads of good things about this series, so I found it one day in a shop, and I figured, fuck it, it's a complete series, I'll pick it up. I haven't watched it yet, but from the things that I have seen, it really looks interesting. If you like, if you like bounty hunters, well, if you like science fiction, then you'll probably love this one. The main main plot of synopsis of it is: it's a group of it's a group of bounty hunters going across uh, going across space. Ace. To be honest, that's all I really need to say. They go on adventures, and eventually. One of them, the main, well, the main character, Spike Spiegel, manages to find his, his long-lost love. 
I won't spoil anything else, but hey, it's it's supposed to be really good. Next, we have another like another game-based anime, and that is Dead Space. This particularly is Dead Space Downfall. This is set before the events of the first Dead Space, which shows how the Ishimura was taken over by the was taken over by the Necromorphs. This one, uh, this one, I have also had the privilege of seeing before, and to be honest, it is actually quite creepy, which carries over well considering that it's Dead Space, and as we all know, the first two Dead Spaces were really good, while the third one was complete donkey dick. Now we are moving on to my second favorite anime, and that is. Death Note. This particularly is a box set, a box set, it containing all nine volumes of the an well nine volumes of the anime, which have all thirty-seven episodes on it. And th and this one, I cannot recommend it enough. It the concept, the basic concept might sound kind of well might sound kind of stupid it being a a it being a high school student who finds this notebook book where it, and if he writes people's names in it they die you may be thinking things like how can he have a villain if he can just write down their name and it kills them that actually a guy well that was actually something that I thought when I first heard about it but then as soon as I started watching it I it completely answered that criticism. It completely answered that question with the fact that there are restrict there are limitations that the notebook has. You have to know the person's name and what they look like, so you can't so you don't kill someone with the exact same name. But yeah, seriously, pick this up. Well, if you if you can find this box set, pick it up. I managed to get mine online for about thirty-nine pounds, so and which was an which was an absolute steal considering that this is supposed to be about sixty. Next, we have both of the Death Note Relight series, both the Death Note Relight movies, is Visions of a God and L Successors. Is. These are essentially streamed down versions of the anime, basically just to give you, basically just to give you 93, well, basically just to give you about two or three hours of the of the series. If you just, if you don't have the time to binge the entire to binge the entire series, or you just want to see. The cool, or you just want to see the cool parts, or if you're just showing it off, or if you're just showing the series off to a friend. But yeah, if you, yeah, seriously, also pick them up. They do also have some extra scenes in them, which make them completely different. Next, we're gonna have next we have more live action with the Death Note movie trilogy. This what this DVD right here actually features Death Note and Death Note: The Last Name. The, um, these essentially cover the uh, conflict between L and Kira. However, however, this ha however, this one has a different ending, and several events are different to the original anime. This is L changed the world. This is set after uh, the last name. And it essentially follows a dying L solving his last case before he pops off the before he pops off the mortal coil. And there is a fourth film that is out, Light Up the New World. I haven't seen it yet, but I really want to see it. And there's also a Netflix series based on Death Note coming out. But the only thing I'm interested but the only thing about it that I'm looking forward to is just hearing Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. Because, I mean, come on, it's what I'm Next, we're going to be 
moving. Oh, I'm kind of go. I kind of put two of them around the wrong way. Anyway, Devil May Cry. This is based on the game series Devil May Cry, and not the DMC Devil May Cry. This is based on classic white-haired Dante. It's supposed to be set at some. It's supposed to be set at some point between. It's supposed to be set at some point around Devil May Cry 3. Because. Or maybe even. It's supposed to be set at some point before. I don't know when in the Devil May Cry timeline it's supposed to be set. But what I know is it's supposed to feature. Uh, Dante, Trish, and Lady. I don't know if Virgil is in this one. If that if he is, then let me know. I've only seen a few episodes of this one, but this has the complete series of 12 episodes on it. So, yeah, if you like Devil May Cry, pick this one up. It'll be a blast. Anyway, next we have Elfin Lead. This is actually one of the more controversial anime. Okay. Mostly due to, well, very common instances of nudity. In fact, I don't even know if YouTube will allow me to get away with showing this cover. I will this help? Will this help? Anyway, it follows this. It follows this woman who is he. Who is actually a member of a race that is supposed to wipe is supposed to wipe out humanity with and she has all these she has all these psychic arms that are that are really good at tearing people apart this yeah not only is this one controversial for the amount of nudity in it it's also fairly controversial for the amount for the amount of gore I would actually rec well, the, I would actually recommend picking, watching this one. If you have Netflix, they've re, they've recently put it on Netflix with both the English dub and the Japanese dub. But if you but just be aware that it you might not want to be watching it with your parents because. Yeah, that could lead to some very awkward moments. Anyway, hey, Evangelion. For if you like your emo teens and giant robots. Yeah, this one actually feed. This one is actually a. This one is actually a film that is a compilation of all the twenty, all twenty-four episodes. Of the series Neon Genesis Evangelion, and which also includes the rebirth, of, which also includes rebirth of Evangelion. This one, this is actually considered to be one of the one of the best. One of this is actually quite a good anime, in my opinion, at least. The only problem that people really see, the only problems that people really seem to have with it, is just the mopiness of the main character Shinji Ikari. He, to which I, to which I only just have a few words. Get in the robot, Shinji. Keeping on the Evangelion train, we have Evangelion One, One, One. You are not alone, and Evangelion Two, Two, Two. You cannot advance. Once again. These two are essentially the like. Sorry for the sorry for the background noise. That's my cat. But anyway, with the with these two, they are essentially like with like with Dead Note Relight. These are essentially two new collections and streamlined versions of the original anime. A they did actually release a third one um, called 333 You Cannot Undo, which essentially co which essentially covers things after the events at the end of You Cannot Advance. 
So yeah, if you if you're interested in what watching Avon get Alien, but you don't have the time to watch the full series, either watch these two or this one. Next, we have Ghost in the Shell 2: Innocence. With the new Ghost in the Shell movie coming out, I figured I might I might as I might as well have a chance to talk about Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell was one of Ghost in the, the original Ghost in the Shell movie was one one of the most influential anime of its time. It had it had a massive influence on Hollywood with films such as The Matrix and a lot of the films that were directed by John Woo. Yeah. The foot well, don't know if John Woo took any inspiration from this one, but The Matrix certainly did. With it with its whole but this whole theme of man, of man and machine, in, in, basically the sto the story of the the story of Ghost in the Shell follows the main character Motoko Kusanagi, who in the new film is just being referred to as the Major and is being played by Scarlett Johansson, and she, where she essentially, where she essentially works as a cyborg cop, and. She and she also and she also eventually worked to, works to figure out her past and all that, and it's very it's very interesting, and hey, it inspired and hey, it inspired the Matrix, and also on also on the top of this one it says from the creators of Spirit of the Way and House Moving Castle. So hey, you like those two? Watch this one. Yes, I do also have Studio Ghibli movies, but I'm not going to be showing them here. But I do have three of them. Next, we are going to be covering. Well, next we have Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. These are just the first volumes of the first series and the second series. These take place after the film. Actually, I don't know if these take place after the film or if they take place before the film or if they take place. Or if they. Or if it's just the films streamed down but anyway this is the Ghost in the Shell series if you like Ghost in the Shell give it a watch next we're moving on to H and we have an interesting one here Hi Bane Renmei or New Feathers this is actually the first of four volumes again I haven't watched this one but it certainly looks to be quite angelic I, so if this if angel if angels are your sort of thing, then go ahead, give it a watch. Now we're gonna now we're gonna be moving on to another one of my favorites, Helsing. Ing. Yep, Helsing. This is the best vampire anime. Well, this and Helsing Ultimate, but. Helsing in general is one of the best for vampires. Yes. It essentially follows a, it essentially follows this, or, this secret organization in England that tackle the that tackle the supernatural and undead, mostly vam mostly vampires and all that sort of thing. But here's the thing: their greatest weapon against vampires is a vampire himself. The man on this cover right here called Alucard and yes Alucard is actually Dracula spelt backwards in fact in in fact you know what I'm not gonna spoil the end of help I'm not gonna spoil the later half of it of Helsing Ultimate if you re if you want to but hey if you want to find out more about Els Helsing definitely a lot more than I can tell you go ahead and watch Anime America's video Helsing ver Helsing versus Helsing Ultimate, which I will leave a which I will leave a link to down in the description below. Be sure if you want to just tell them that the Zombie Messiah sent you. I'm pretty sure they'll. I'm pretty sure they'll. I'm pretty sure they'll do something. But anyway, hey, another live-action adaptation in, and we have Itchy the Killer and the interesting thing is 
this one that I have actually features both the live action movie and well it features the live action movie and the original anime so yeah this is essentially two bits of Itchy the Killer for the price of one and again I haven't seen this one but it is supposed to be quite dark so hey if you're in say if you're into your dark if you're into your dark crime things like Silence of the Lambs then go ahead and give this one a watch and then also is Itchy the Killer the anime next we are on K I don't have any anime beginning with J but we have Karas the prophecy this one actually interested me because of the design of the main character I mean seriously just look it's like if you have it's like if you have Batman mixed with a samurai yeah. or Batman mixed with a ninja but or I give him Batman mixed with or Batman mixed with Ultraman mixed with a ninja. But anyway, again, this is another this is another one that I haven't seen, but just looking at the cover, I really fucking want to. In fact, I'll probably be watching this. Well, I'll, I'll probably be what I'll probably be watching this after I finished editing this video and uploading it. But yeah, I'll but yeah, yeah. It looks cool. If you want to. Well, if you want to find out more, then just give it a watch. Next, we're moving on to N, and we have Ninja Scroll. Now, this one is actually something that I haven't really found anyone talking about. All, all I can get from it is that it's set during feudal Japan, and it is, and it's based on this, and it's focused around, and it's focused around ninjas. Um, yeah, this is the um, remaster 10th anniversary, a special that came out in 90, it came out in 1995, wait, no, not 90, 1995, um, the original, yeah, the original one came out in 19, the original Ninja Scroll came out in 1993, these are from 2000 these are from 2004 so technically this would be the so technically this would be the 11th anniversary edition but anyway if you like ninjas give it a watch next we are moving on to two OVAs from the anime that actually got me into anime in the first place and that is Rurouni Kenshi e. yes these two actually say Samurai X but Here's the but here's the funny story already behind that. What so when um Roro and Kenshi was being brought over to the was being brought over to the over to the West, they actually gave it two titles. It was it, it stayed Roro and Kenshi in Japan, and in America it became known as Samurai X. No idea why they changed. From what I can make out, the I. Now uh, the reason why they called it Samurai X is because well he was a samurai and he had an X uh, and he had an X scar on his cheek. But yeah, this was, yeah, Rural Nikenshi was actually the series that got me into anime in the first place. Ace. I actually found the series on Sony's Crackle service while it was still available in, while it was still available in the UK. So being curious and because I had and because I had a friend at school who would just keep going on about Naruto I was just like yeah sure yeah sure I'll give this a watch and I was like and then about two hours later I was like I gotta watch more I just gotta watch more and so I kept watching more until this until the service discontinued in um in the UK due to competition from Amazon and Netflix but I eventually did manage to find the series on Crunchyroll and I have since finished the English dub I intend to watch through the whole series again but with the Japanese dub this time 
at him. But, yeah, that's pretty much my explanation for Rora and Kenshi. The, um, these two are actually set during, well, before the series, and it shows Ken and it shows the main character's days as a ruthless assassin during the time that at the shogunate was being re was being replaced by the Imper by the imperial court, well, by the imperial government. And yes. This one, this one is actually this one is set in history, but it's set in its own version of history. There wasn't actually a person called Himura Kenshi in real life, but there was actually a person that he was based on, who uh, who was an who was an assassin, who was one of the best assassins in Japan, until until the time that the governments. Well, that the Imperials was essentially won the Bakumatsu against the Shogunate, and the sword and the sword ban was put in place. He that he then became a teacher and was eventually executed for supposedly harboring a for supposedly harboring a fugitive. He did actually have a style that is similar to Kenshi's hit Hitten Mitsurugi Ryu. Which is which was actually known as Shir, which was actually known as Shirinuri Ryu, and for a while, and to be honest, it is actually considered a lost sword art when it comes to the katana. But here's the thing: it has actually been in media. Any time that you see a person, most times when you see a person using a katana, if you see them going down, down low with the sword or in its sheath, before very before very quickly drawing out the blade, that is essentially what Shirinuri Ryu was. The only thing, the only thing that they don't actually have is the pro, is the is how low the person is supposed to be for for it to be for it to be most effective. Yeah, enough with the whole his, history talk. Book these two, give them a watch, especially if you're a fan, especially if you're planning on watching Rural Kenshi, but you want but you want to see what Kenshi did before he became a wanderer. Speak, keeping on with Rura and Kenshi, we have the three live action the three live action movies. The first Rura and Kenshi live action movie was actually is actually considered to be one of the best selling anime live ac action adaptations and mostly due to the fact that it didn't really that it didn't require computer-generated id special effects. Instead, every every special effect that is in this film is practical, and everything that Kenshi that Kenshi or any of the other characters do in this film is actually something that could realistically hap that you could that you could realistically do. However, I am not saying you should go out and do these things, but I'm just saying that part of the success of the Rura and Kenshi movies was due to the fact that they had a more realistic approach to filmmaking. And which actually made sense with the fact that these are pretty much just samurai movies with the Rura and Kenshi name on them. And in the, in the trilogy we have Rura and Kenshi, Rura and Kenshi 2 Kyoto Inferno, and Rura and Kenshi 3: The Legend Ends. These three are these three are really good movies, and I would actually recommend you going out and watching these. Is th is they are so they are pretty faith they are actually pretty faithful to the f to the original anime and manga that they were in that they were based on. Um, but I'm not going to be going into another ramble about that. Next we have. Sky Blue, 2142 AD. Now uh, this one is actually, this one is actually set in a society that is, that has a, an extreme case of classism. And basically, there's this city that is located inside, I think it's inside of a mountain, but they, 
but they have they basically keep this the city is basically for the really well off while those who aren't as well off are kept outside of the city and are pretty much subjected to the worst uh, to the worst that the higher class can throw at them um, and it follows one man's quest to essentially break the status quo and be able to finally allow our this uh, our people to see the blue sky that is outside of the city next we have samurai shampoo again this is that again this is one that I that I've seen a lot of clips for I know that it's actually more hip-hop that it's more hip-hop based or more hip-hop up basis for the samurai I mean the main character does actually incorporate quite a lot of break dancing into his fighting style oh however well I have got well this is pretty much meant to be a full box set the problem is that I oh it doesn't say how many volumes are supposed to be in it but uh, well I get the feeling that it's supposed to be eight because it's like there's a because there's a gap up here where it looks like another one of these DVDs is supposed to go and in case you're wondering uh, there's probably just leftover space well here's the thing this is how thin one this is how thin one of the DVDs in the box set are uh, so yeah if you're into if you're into hip-hop try out Samurai Sam well, not Sam not Samurai Samurai Shampoo last but not least we have virus as vi or virus buster surge this is volumes one two three and believe it or not, and this one is actually set in a city called neo hong kong um, and it's pretty much and it's another man and machine one but it's all but it also has themes of connecting the two but which includes artificial enhancing in and intelligent AIs is so uh, again I don't really know I don't really know much about this one but hey if you're into your dist but hey if you're into your sci-fi and your and your ultra intelligent AIs then I would actually recommend going out and trying to find that one but well that's all of the anime that I own and this video is already going on for 43 minutes I would I I should I thank you heavily for bearing this long if you have if you have held on for the full 43 minutes that this video is currently going on please be sure to leave a like if you've managed to get this far in the video uh, and I apologize for there not being any videos yesterday or on Tuesday but on Tuesday I did want to do something very very special because it was the 15th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved which is one of my favorite games it, it was the 15th anniversary of Halo which is one of my favorite gaming gaming franchises but I didn't really have a whole lot of time I was gonna and I couldn't think of anything to do on Wednesday so I will try and get a bit I'll try and get a video out tomorrow oh who knows I maybe I might just do some clips from playing a game on the Xbox one but hey what can I do anyway if you like what you saw please be sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the little bell icon for notifications for when I upload next 
This has been the Zombie Messiah, signing out. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen.